This video illustrates how to use the Clarity Connect administration tools to create call flows ranging from simple to extremely complex. What you see here is an example of a simple call flow created using the editor. Each call flow is made up of nodes, which are the boxes that you see in the section on the right. Nodes represent actions you can take, such as playing a prompt, receiving input from the caller, or transferring a call or placing it into a queue. Let's take a look at what this call flow does. We start with a message node to play a greeting to the caller. After that, we use a prompt node to get their input in the main menu. Depending on what key they press, we can either transfer the call, hang it up, or set the call to a particular queue. After assigning a queue to the call, we check whether the current time is within business hours. If it's within, we use an in-queue node to put the call into queue and start playing hold music. If we're outside of business hours, we use a transfer node to send the call to the appropriate voicemail box. Each of these nodes can be edited directly from this window. All you need to do is click on the node and then click the Edit button on the left. That makes the options available for editing. You can give the node a more descriptive name, which shows up in the section on the right. And for the message node, you can also assign a different message prompt. You can either use text-to-speech, or you can choose a previously uploaded recording. You can also select the next node in sequence. You can choose either a node you've already created, or you can create a brand new node of any type. Once you've made changes, click Save, and the changes are reflected in the display. Next, we'll edit the main menu prompt node. Again, we need to click Edit to enable the options for editing, and we'll create a new branch called Support. This way, when callers say Support at the main menu, they'll be transferred to a different branch in the call flow. We'll send those calls to a new set queue node that will assign them to a different queue. Having made our changes, we can now click Save, and the set queue node we've created appears in the display on the right. It has a red border around it right now because there are some validation errors. There's also a node missing, the next one after the set queue node, and that's indicated by this missing tag on the display. We can fix the validation errors by clicking on the set queue node and editing it. First of all, we'll give it a more descriptive name. And then we'll select the queue that it will assign calls to. We'll also set the business hours check as the next node in sequence. Now that we've made those changes, the validation errors are gone. Once your changes are ready, you can click the Publish button to put them into effect for live calls. You can make as many changes as you want before publishing them. All previous revisions of your call flow are also kept in the history. Here's the list of call flows. For each call flow, you can view the call flow, edit it, or look at previous revisions. Here's an example of some previous revisions for a larger call flow. You can view any previous revision and revert to it if you like. To finish up, let's take a look at an example of a much larger call flow. This call flow is quite a bit larger and has many different branches. You can use the mouse to zoom in and scroll around to see the entire structure of the call flow. As you've seen from this brief introduction, Clarity Connect's call flow editor allows you to build both simple and complicated call flows with relative ease. If you'd like more information about our call flow editor, please feel free to contact us through our website at connect.claritycon.com.